They say you have to be crazy to come into the zone. I don't really know about that, but I do know I don't just want to go here. I don't just want to be a visitor, some tourist looking for the next big thrill. I want to live here. I want to thrive here. I know there's money to be made. I've tried every other place imaginable. The whole world has gone to the scrap heap. But there's something about this place. There's some sort of attraction I can't quite put my finger on. There are legends, tales of men and women carving out their destiny here. There are tales of monsters and madmen. Honestly, I don't really know about all that either. Okay, it's a curiosity, but ultimately, I'm just here for the coin. I know it, I can feel it deep within. There's money to be made here, and lots of it. I guess we'll just have to see if I have what it takes to survive, no, to thrive here in the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fallout Anomaly. Ladies and gentlemen, things have been quite drastically evolved and updated since the last time we were here. So we are going to be diving in to this game to see just how nicely things are coming along. It's, uh, it's still a work in progress modelist. So take everything with Well, just keep that in mind. We are still actively in development. However, our character here is on a journey. He's on a mission to survive and to thrive here in the zone. So let's see how well or unwell he is able to achieve those or that aim. Okay. Well hello dear friend. So as you can see we're a little bit injured. Are we a little bit injured? Slightly. What do we have in terms of medicine? We have a field transfusion kit, field blood transfusion kit. Restores 3% HP and heals non-crippled limbs. However, we have a crippled limb and a slightly crippled limb. We also have a level up. Let's address that while we can. I think, um, actually, let's have a look here. What have we got? If we hide our ineligible perks, Hunter, 15% more damage against animals. Let's take a, let's take a little boost to our, our uh, experience rate and I feel like I want to boost our medicine a little bit too. Okay, looking good down here, everything looks pretty good. What the hell is that? Okay, that must have been a headshot. So yeah, we got some sort of uh, head injury earlier on. A centaur. Can we, we can harvest this, apparently we can't, um, can't get any kind of meat off it. Hmm. In terms of carry capacity, we are quite up there. We've got a fair amount of junk with us. We've been gathering supplies as we go. So our character here has the aim of, well, essentially earning money. We uh, we want to get ourselves established here in the world of Fallout Anomaly, just to see, well, to see whether or not we can do it. 
to see how easily or how not easily we can survive. For now, we've heard about this uh, this this little town called Diamond City, and so we're making our way in just to see what what opportunities are abound. Anyway, let's see how we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have a few quests that we've picked up along the way. Ah, wait, our, our limb apparently has one... one health. Can't actually butcher those. I guess, well, they are zombie... This one had a hot dog. This person had a hot dog. Um, you can, they are zombie hyenas, so I guess you probably wouldn't want to eat the meat from those animals. I'm just trying to get a bit of a sense of our direction. We've got to head this way. I might then use this... whatever it was that we had. This one. See what that does for our... Uh, our vault boy up there in the top right. He is actually healing that limb, so that's good. Get him, dog meat. Okay, let's head in towards Diamond City then. See what's going on here. So yeah, there's been a huge update to the mod list. A few things have been removed, a few things that were causing problems, and things have been streamlined quite nicely. The development process is well underway. Um, to being, well, I guess perfected, you know, this, uh, this mod list has, or, or rather is extremely ambitious in what it's trying to achieve here, so it's, uh, it's obviously taking a little bit of time to dial things into, to where they want it to be. But yeah, we're here, we're here to see exactly how things are feeling. So we've got super mutants here. It's actually the first super mutant I've come across. Got a deputy. Med kit. Another deputy. So these guys have actually got some serious, serious equipment here, don't they? Uh, all of this we're going to sell. I mean, do I want to take it all? We are very, very close to Diamond City. The only real issue that I've come across so far is that for some reason the uh, the shotgun does not want to fire, uh, actually aim or fire in first person. However, it does. It definitely, definitely does work in third person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly kind of wander my way down towards the city. And uh, let's see what we can do when we get there. So far the atmosphere feels great. The uh, the overall look of the thing, uh, the look of the list feels great. The radiation seems to have been tweaked quite a bit. There's way more of a stalker vibe going on here in terms of presentation so far. Get a lot of this guy. What's his deal? So we've got our faithful fa canine companion with us. Alrighty, so allow me to uh, to introduce ourselves to this lovely lady here, who is seemingly blocking our way in towards into Diamond City. The great green jewel. Diamond City is a place where everyone knows everyone, and no one talks to anyone. Is that right? Get used to this town. For all its faults, anything comes here. Please. Looks like we've got a zombie problem. Uh 
Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Okay, that was lucky we didn't actually hit anyone there. Okay, so maybe the uh, the throwing situation with the grenades is potentially a bit different. Unless it was just because I was in third person. What is going on with this gate? Miss Piper, can we... Uh, can we talk about how on earth I get into this place? Can't stop the press. Uh, but they try. They try. Hmm. They just let us inside. All right. So, now with regards to what we're doing here, we are basically testing where we're at with regards to the ability to proceed with our objective of starting up our series, okay? Obviously we're into episode two, the mod list was updated, so I got us back to this similar location to where we were at last time round. I found out a little bit more that I needed to know with regards to the guns for hire mod, and so we are going to be proceeding with that uh, that approach. So, let's head on in, get some of this gear sold, and we'll find out exactly where we need to go from here. Things are nice and quiet, it seems, in Diamond City. If anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her. Hope you didn't run into any trouble getting here. Mm -hmm. That bridge across the river? Apparently this location is safe. So we're going to head into this uh, this trader here and get some of this we gear sold. Small arms, long arms, ammunition. Hey, you're the new guy, right? I mean, I did I did just get here. Mistaken? <laughs> okay, whatever. Well, my name's Arturo, and I sell protection if you're here to buy. Let's take a look. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. I mean, it just so happens, I've got a little bit of stuff myself, so, alright, so we're going to sell a little bit of stuff to him, however, I didn't really take a look at this armour that we picked up, which overtakes the uh, some of the raider gear that we found, so we'll keep hold of this if it gives us a bit of protection, also, we don't need our gas mask on. So we're going to take that off. That does give us rad protection. You need protection. Everyone does. I'm just here to trade, man. Every. All right. Let me uh, let me continue to work my way through some of this stuff. All right. So we've got ourselves a decent amount of ammo. In terms of weapons, we've picked up this tomahawk, this Stea Org. This Glock and this FNP90, along with a double barrel shotgun and an AKM. So as you can see, this mod list is not short of weapons, even right off the bat. And in terms of armor, we've picked ourselves up a leather shoulder bag to increase our carry capacity. Some FSD deputy light gear. A little bit of Raider stuff. We'll sell some of that off. And we've got a gas mask to deal with the radiation problem around the place. We're not doing too bad for caps, actually. Essentially, we're a bit of a scavenger at the moment. Let's uh, let's take that. He He's only too short. So that's fine. In terms of medical items, he's not going to have much because he's not a medical trader. However, we've got... Uh, let's have a look at this. I'm just going to jump straight into quick trade. We're not really here to mess around with these people. She does have a little bit of food to sell for the time being we've got some boiled water and purified water please do remember that this is a work in progress so a lot of this stuff is going to be refined maybe some of the, the stats on these items is not yet perfect uh what else you got you got a bobby pin we've got one we will take another one i will take a hunting kit i suppose i think we need that to be able to to get food from animals 
Uh, I'm still kind of working my way around a lot of these mods, so, you know, bear with me, please. In terms of ammo, we don't really need any ammo off her. All right, that's going to do for that. Now let's head over to the doctor. I did find in a little bit of the testing that I was doing earlier that uh, medical supplies are rightly quite expensive. I mean, does trading count? All right. So yeah, let's have a look here. We're going to need some bandages, a few of those. Poison resist, we're not asked about that. I mean, sorry, we're not bothered about that. Stop heavy bleeds on arms and legs. We're definitely going to take one of those. Light bleeding and heals those body parts. We'll take one of them. Definitely want a radiation poisoning kit. Uh, what else have we got? Heavy bleed on the thorax. We're taking that. Now, the IFAK first aid kit is, is pretty legendary in terms of what it does for us. Ibuprofen, we definitely want one of those as well. I have not found a lot of medical items so far here in the world. Only really just med kits in general and a few kind of drugs. Uh, really none of this stuff we've found, which I really like actually. Some of this stuff here, um, I'm not completely sure what it does yet. I'm still kind of working my way through this. Give me a pur purified water. I love the idea of needing to buy food and water. A screwdriver. Now some of these tools here, um, I, I think, are going to be used when it comes to settlement building. So these are not in our junk items, and I'm again I'm assuming that's for a reason. I do know of a mod that requires you to need, for example, a hammer and a wrench to build certain things at a settlement. So I'm hoping they've managed to get that in. Now, I know that the intention is to get it in. I'm just not sure if it's in yet. All right, that's going to do. As you can see, that's basically all of our caps, which is fine. That's what we're here for. We're here to survive and live in the world. A bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. A combat zone. For raiders only. Clear if I was you. Well, I mean, I don't have any intentions on becoming a raider, if I'm honest. But to know where all the raiders hang out is that in the public, is could be... Uh, would be helpful so we're going to ignore that for now let's just see what this trader has for sale hello polly all right so she's got actually plenty of food which is quite cheap some of it let's take a little bit of meat i think we, we need to be working in threes here if i remember so let me take them she doesn't have anything else except my look eggs in threes, but they're quite expensive, so we'll leave those. Confirm the trade, and let's head over to the cooking station and see if there's anything that we can do here. Excuse me, can I, uh, can I just make use of that while you're in the middle of doing something? All right, so I had a, bre a very brief look over some of the crafting in this mod. Uh, in this mod list earlier. Not necessarily the food, although I did quickly look over the food. So we've got some baked potatoes there. Baked potatoes, sorry. So we can make a red rat steak. Red rat steak, yep. We only actually needed two for that, so maybe it's two. Squirrel on a stick, two bits, plus wood, yep. Stingwing is three pieces. Yaogwai is one, plus a few other things. That's for ribs. Poached angler is angler meat. Mutant hound requires two. Mole rat is three. All right, so it's kind of a bit of a mishmash. Iguana, bits, two of those. Rad roach. Rad roach is three. Maybe I should just go. So, I'll show you soon. Um, actually, let's head over real quick to the, uh, the weapons workbench. Although, it's not really this one that we want, is it? No, it's not this one that we want. In terms of crafting, the things that you can craft in this mod list is, uh, is really, really cool. But it's a specific workbench that we need to be able to craft stuff. So we're not quite there yet. We'll leave that till later then. For now, our objective is to head in to... Uh, well, we're just, we're just looking for jobs really in the area. 
can't believe you eat that food. And I do Only know thing worth buying in the dugout in. that, uh, food. well, we've been encouraged to check out the dugout in to see if there's any, uh, any missions available here. Turns out there is a bounty job available. What have we got here? Open notice 21 with a gun and some ambition. Radio activity is on the rise and we're looking for individuals who are willing to help bring them to justice. If you're interested, go see our representative in Diamond City Security. Well, it just so turns out that that's another location we've been encouraged to visit. Go see JR in Diamond City Security. Okay, we're just here for a room. Now, if you want hey. to talk something really deadly. Redeem. Oh, I forgot you were there, Yefim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Excuse me. Oh, a customer. Need a room? Uh, actually, yeah. What's, uh... How much? You're in room two. Just through the door. All right, 10 military grade cartridges. So that's caps essentially. All right, so military grade cartridges. Nice I'm assuming that's some sort of ammo. Um, I mean, I'm not a gun guy, so a cartridge, it's not the sort of thing I hear very often when it comes to guns. What exactly is a cartridge? I mean, we've got caps, but that's, that's what we just paid there. However, we're finding cartridges in the world. All right, so I'm still kind of figuring that one out. Anyway, it's late. It's not that late though. We can still get a little bit of work done here. Let's throw in a save. And check our inventory space. We are still quite burdened. Although, not overburdened by any means. Can I get like a carry capacity uh, thing here? So I think just general strength i'm at 260 capacity at the moment and what have we got here 10 more let's take some more in uh medicine here get us up to at least rank one along with maybe uh thievery let's take that as well you know we're a stalker at the end of the day we take what we want we're a loner in the world are we good now Yep, so we got a 10 point boost to our carry capacity there with that one perk in strength. So we have picked up a mission. I've got to go and see someone in Diamond City Security. We picked up quite a few missions on the way here. As you can see, a lot of these spawned in as we started the game. However, some of them we have picked up as we've uh, been wandering through the landscape. Our aim, again, once again, just to clarify, is to establish ourselves in the world here, in the economy of this world, to earn money, to be able to earn a living here, and eventually, you know, forge our own settlement and recruit people, and uh, yeah, just, you know, not just survive, but thrive. Now then, where is Diamond City Security? It's this way. So let's go have a look. Is it this way? What am I looking at here? Okay, it's going to be down here then. Alright, so yeah. I don't know exactly where to go here, but... This is what leads us into the Guns for Hire mod. So we've got that, as well as this mission that we're looking at now. So I think there's some sort of notice board here. office ad there we go all right so this is all brand new to me i've never done this before please bear with me as we go office for sale are you looking to start up a business as a gun for hire i've got the place for you located just outside diamond city this office is perfect for anyone looking to set up shop it's a bit spartan but it's a blank slate for you to build up as you see fit you can find me outside diamond city if you're interested asking prices four thousand caps holy crap well at the end of the day, we've got to earn our living. I I really, really, really love the premise of this series so far. Now, I don't know whether or not we're there yet with regards to this mod list. Can we do it? Um, I've been encouraged to, to give it a good go by the developers because they seem to think uh, that, you know, everything's in place as it needs to be, at least for now. 
And the next update is a little while away, so we've got a bit of, a bit of time with this. Just quit my last job. Looking for another. Same, honestly, I mean. Um So one of the things that I'm kind of going with here for our immersion is like we've just started. Nobody here knows us. And I've talked to the developers a little bit about this too. It's really weird that I've had like four offers, including this person now, the fourth off offer to come and for somebody to come and work for me when nobody knows who we are. I mean maybe it would happen. You meet a random stranger in the world and they say, you know, you got any work available. So, okay, yeah, I guess it could happen. But I also like the idea of people... Nobody knows who we are. We have no reputation yet. So, you know, that sort of thing, if possible, should be left till kind of later. Oh, wow. All right. Oops. Now... Here's the thing, um, this this is a known issue, and I have not yet addressed this, so allow me to address this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, Zombie Walkers has been causing a few problems. It's a known problem, so we've disabled that mod for the time being. However, so, what we just had to do there was wait quite a significant amount of time. Unfortunately, some of our food items, yeah, some of them, not all of them. I think the cooked food has spoiled. So we're going to eat some of this stuff now. And I've got some drinks here, so let's have one of those as well. And then we need to talk to this, uh, this person here about our first mission. I should not be walking around this place with my gun out either. Hello, JR. How can I help you? Well, uh, what's the deal with this bounty hunter job? Any information you may want to know is on the terminal. Feel free to use it. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you got any other jobs available? Wait, you got supplies here. I'm sure I've got something you need. Okay. Interesting. Transmitter collar, hazmat suit. Would be very, very helpful, but very expensive. Prisoner jumpsuit. Ooh. Handcuffs, really? So you're telling me we can actually handcuff people, put them in jumpsuits? That's interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that as is for now. How can I help you? At the same time, what's this one? Uh, let's ask her about running a job. Let me take a look. Okay. How'd you go? Anything? Let's see what she's doing. This is interesting, guys. This is all new to me. What an interesting place this is. This is definitely modded, isn't it? it? Doesn't normally look like this. I don't know if I've been down here before. Oh, she's modded. She she hasn't got a normal voice, so. All right. What do we got? I don't know. What do we got? Got a coffee. Can you keep it down in there, please? Honestly. Quiet. What's the deal, JR? How can I help you? Did you uh find any jobs? Let me take a look. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh let's try not leave her behind this time. See what happens. Anything? Okay, I don't think okay. she's at something available if you're interested. She does have something. It's a simple kill contract. Your target goes by the name of Boomer, and you can find him at the old relay station to the northeast. This contract pays out at the standard rate. Okay. Do you accept? Uh, I mean, yes. Got any more details? Whatever information we have is on my terminal. Feel free to have a look for yourself. All so, right. Are you interested in this contract? Absolutely. Uh, let's, let's, let's get into it. Great. Happy hunting. So the map has updated. I take it that means that's automatically started. Now where was the other mission that we had? The local flavor? No. Is it the same mission? 
I don't think it is. Anyway, let's have a look on the terminal here. Bounty information. Ak -ak. Holy smokes. This is a lot. Ak -ak. A notorious raider running a crew out of the abandoned USAF station to the far north. Yes. So, Boomer. Oh, so we have to check them up ourselves. Not much is known about Boomer. We know that he is a tough, no-nonsense raider leader who has managed to get his hands on functional power armor and is prone to using... Ooh, a miniature nuke launcher. Okay, Boomer and his gang can be located far to the north at an old relay station. Be aware that they have dug in rather tightly, fortifying their small output. Wow, this is a... This is a serious uh, mission to start off with, isn't it? Charter. Our organization's goal is simple, to establish a single code of law across the Commonwealth, as outlined by the Fence Sheriff Department, where none are exempt. Regardless of who they are or what they may have done, a code of law that is fair, where judgment and punishments under those laws fit the crimes committed. Alright, so just general law and order then. Let me just have a quick look over our mission board. Alright, so after looking over this again, we have we now have another mission, Wet Feet, to check the board at the Dugout Inn, which is what we just did a second ago. Yeah. Let's just quickly go back to that. ID card reader, Bank of the Commonwealth. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so we can get out this way. How? Where's the exit? This way? Okay, I'm very, very lost. Holy smokes, that place is chaos. Anyway. Whew, we got out of there eventually. Alright, so. We're going to head back to the dugout in real quick. Yes. The only problem is, I forgot what the mission was that we actually picked up from there. But, we've got a mission now called Wet Feet. Don't bother, pal. So let's just see what this is about. Alright, so we've, we've got another bounty here. A once trustworthy member of our community has turned out to have quite a pilfering side to her. Maria Giovanni, most commonly known as the Wild Boar, stole the following items from our armory, has blonde hair but otherwise not a noteworthy appearance. 400 fusion cells. So I take it that's a new mission we've got now. Check the area southeast. Okay, so we've got a couple of missions here to do. It's kind of weird that that first one has disappeared. I can't see it anywhere in here. It was something about raiders, wasn't it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've got our main... One of our main missions here, which is probably going to be quite difficult, in all honesty. I'm not sure how well equipped we are for this. But at the end of the day, if it requires that we revert back to our current trade, which is scavenging, uh, then, well, you know, it's it's the way of the world, isn't it? For now, I think I wouldn't mind trying to find a stash location. Um, hmm. Somewhere to drop off all of this junk stuff that we've got. Now, I could sell it. I suppose that's a viable option. But now, I think I'm just going to stash it and see what sort of income we get from these jobs. And then we'll know, we'll get a bit of a rough idea as to how long it's going to take us to earn the money we need in order to get this office space that we, uh, yeah, our character needs at the end of the day. All right. So we do have another quest here somewhere. Left Field Diner. The jewel of the great green jewel, in-house spaghetti, nuka mixer, taco Tuesdays, fresh bread and honey. No synths. I take it that's in Diamond City then. All right. So, what's over here? There's a lot going on in the city at the moment. Surly what? Mailman. Okay. Hello. Grim Steel. Hello, stranger. You look like you could hold your own in a scrap. Hear about the office for sale? Uh, sure did. 
I saw your ad. Uh, is it true? Yes, it is. I'm retiring and don't need it anymore. Okay, so why are you selling it? That's right, but I'm retiring now. I've had my share of excitement and danger and I'm ready for a quieter life. Okay, AI voice there, interesting. Is he a synth or what? So what exactly did you use the office for? Mostly paperwork and tracking bounties. It was a good base of operations and I had some equipment stored here too. But now that I'm retiring, I don't need it anymore. Uh, I mean, I don't have the money for it at the moment, so... Can I just get out of this menu? Or? That's all right, no pressure. If you change your mind, the office will still be available. Great. So, yeah, all right, we need 4,000 caps, guys. Which is a fair amount of money, actually, to, uh, you know, to jump off the bat. But again, I really do like the idea of needing to earn our living here in the world. Now, we've got a bit of an easier mission here. I imagine this one's probably not going to have a great reward. Hopefully this one has a better reward. Let's disable wet feet for the time being. I'm just going to disable, turn some of those sound effects down. Hopefully that's done the trick. Can't really be sure. Sounds like it. Yeah, it has a little bit, I think. Kind of, maybe. Anyway, where is our destination? Holy smokes, that's a trek, isn't it? Well, um, hmm. yeah, all right. I mean, we want the job, so let's just find a little spot here to try to leave some of our items. Are there any containers around here? There's got to be some in here, right? Anything? I mean, I'm not going to leave all my items in a cash rush register. That's just not immersive whatsoever. All right, I suppose we'll have to uh, we'll have to find somewhere along the way. All right, let's head out on our mission. So we've got to head north. I'll try to find a container in here somewhere. There's got to be one around. Can we still loot cars? Alright, so here's what we're doing. We're leaving our gear, all of our junk here, in the trunk. We've got our junk in the trunk of this car. Everything else is pretty good, I think. Mind you, we've got a combat knife there we don't need, or get rid of that one. Um... I'll keep that. I don't know if I need that for hunting animals, though we now have that hunter's kit. Double barrel shotgun we are going to keep, just for the sake of we can use it in third person. And everything else we'll keep on us. Where's that, uh, that tomahawk? It's, it's got the wrong label on it for some reason. Doesn't matter. Pretty cool. Alright, let's head out, guys. See what we can do here. Don't you just love that? I'm not sure if it's possible, but with those weapon mods starting up like that, okay, it's a thing. You know, you give the you give the the players the choice to to sort of choose for themselves. But at the end of the day, the pack the pack is about immersion. Hardcore immersion. So, okay, it's a spoiled melon, so we're not going to be touching that. I feel like potentially almost every single player of this pack would be on board with you taking the liberty to pre select the option for them as the most immersive option, which is that it spawns at a later level and it's available for sale. Uh, and it spawns on enemies, and it's, you know, 
whatever particular variant of the weapon. Just to just to get rid of that kind of moment of being pulled out of the immersion again. Honestly, I think you'd be 9 out of 10 players would be quite happy for you to probably make the choice for them. Otherwise, they're choosing the option to get one teleported to their inventory right now. So they're, what are they doing playing a hardcore immersion pack if you know, they want to spawn a, an advanced weapon into their inventory? Anyway, just a thought. Let's continue on, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, please do feel free to uh, post your comments down below as to how you feel about the way this model list is currently presenting itself, the gameplay. I know I'm not going into too much detail, but I'm also exploring it for myself. It's a new update. Unfortunately, as I say that, we have an audio bug. That's a... Uh... Okay, well, at least the audio bug... Okay, never mind. Who is this? Gunner Sharpshooter. Okay, so whatever this weapon was here that he had does not have the right uh, audio audio sound to it. Anyway, we're going to take his money, his ammo, and we're going to take anything that's got a good value here, nothing really. We'll take items over. While equipped, you gain additional carry weight space. How much? Doesn't say how much. Well, let's test that out. So there's a classic bug in these games. I'm sure many of you will have encountered it before. 310. Great. So we've got an extra 50 carry capacity from this bag. Brilliant. Well, we'll take it. And we'll be leaving his gun for now. Will we though? Will we though? I'm just thinking about profits. You know, that's what we're all about in this uh, in this series now. We're all about the money. Maybe anything over 50? Mind you, it's going to take up some serious, serious space as we go. Anyway, we'll take it. We'll see how we go. In terms of ammo, we've got quite a significant amount of ammo for this gun. So as I was saying, please do remember to leave your feedback down below. The developers are actively uh, looking at this list, at this series. They want to hear your input. They want to hear your feedback. Please do check down below for links to this mod list if you want to test it out for yourself. Again, work in progress, so don't expect it to be a completely flawless experience yet. And, uh, you know, ideally anyone wanting to play this for themselves would be willing to provide feedback and, and support the developers in their journey. Because they have, as I mentioned earlier, they have a very, very ambitious aims for this list and whoa okay there was a hole in the floor there one thing i've noticed is that the radiation is not extremely excessive like you can see we're getting three rads per second here from the water i feel like i could probably boost that up a bit 
minimum 5 rads a second, maybe even 10 rads a second. Just to give us that kind of very, very dangerous radiation. A sense of very dangerous radiation. Also, the enemies don't seem to be ultra aware of us, do they? Maybe I spoke too soon. Got a light bleed. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, that light bleed turned into something a little bit more excessive, didn't it? We've got a heavy bleed. From where? Tourniquet? Stop people bleeds with a tourniquet on the limbs, chest seal for the thorax or the surgery kit. Doesn't tell us here, does it? It has to we have to look up here. Okay, that would be the thorax. So this one? No, this one. That should take care of our bleed. Get him, boy. Get him. You get him. Holy smokes. Wow, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are. <laughs> we are in serious shh right now, aren't we? We're in serious shh. Okay, what do I need? There's a lot going on here. I've got a sucking chest wound. Heal it with a surgery kit. I don't think we have a surgery kit. We didn't get one of those. We don't need that one. Stops light bleeding. We don't need that one. Just take this in general, I guess. Hold it. Get him, boy. Get him. Got another light bleed. Okay, I need to get these. I need to get these bound, don't I? Because this is ridiculous. It's a good kind of ridiculous, though, right? Alright, that's healing us. Whew. Okay, so here's the thing. You know, it seemed like the enemies were a little bit, um, kind of unaware. And then all of a sudden they were totally aware, and it was hell. Alright, so maybe don't, uh, don't take it for granted that you're not being brutalized. Because the second they, they focus in on you, they really, really, really focus in on you. Oh my god. That would be a head, head problem. Brilliant. Brilliant. I had a, I had a flashback to some of my talk of experiences okay stalker experiences too and we have a crash once again ladies and gentlemen work in progress we really are here aren't we just to give you a little bit of an insight into what the story is um it's been actually pretty smooth sailing so far way smoother than it has been up to now so things are definitely improving but um you know clearly with regards to a very very smooth experience we're, we're still a little bit of time away from that, but I am very happy to bring you these episodes for you to get a bit of an insight into the mod list as it's developing, just so you can, you know, you can see what's in store, uh, decide for yourself whether or not you want to jump in and test it out. And yeah, just offer a little bit of feedback, a little bit of support to the developers hunting, as they uh, try to refine this experience for our enjoyment. Okay, so on second attempt, uh, it looks like we are hopefully going to be loading back into the game. However, ladies and gentlemen, we are roundabout at the end of this episode. Let's just get past this, uh, past this load screen here. Alright, so, at the end of the day, we've gotten further into the list than I ever have been able to before. Uh, you know, I'm a very patient person. I could easily continue playing this game. If it's going to crash like this, I'll just save often and cut the crashes out and continue on with the series however um you know i don't know I'll, I'll sit with it and i'll see whether or not to continue we probably will actually do a little bit more but uh, this is going to be the end of this episode so 
yeah, I don't really have much more to say other than so far so good. 10 out of 10 would play and crash again and again. Uh, so yeah, feel free, again, check the links down below. Jump on the developer's Discord, download the mod list for yourself. Uh, as I said, all of this stuff is being worked on and refined. This is really quite exciting. As things are coming together, I get more and more interested to see how this is going to evolve. In terms of gameplay for the channel going forward, it's already offering something very different to any of the other lists that I've played. So, so different, in fact, that I'm almost kind of uh, stumbling over myself with regards to what I need to do next because it's just such a new experience, it's such unfamiliar territory um, that it's very interesting, very intriguing and yeah, very exciting for the future. So I'm just going to leave it at that. All the links and everything you need to know are down below in the description so please do check that out and if you're interested in uh, hanging around to see more Fallout Anomaly on the channel Please do stick around because I think I'm going to do another one or two episodes on this list as it stands. I'll continue to save so that we can make further progress in it as we look forward to the next big update that comes out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here and I do hope I will see you again very soon. Goodbye for now.